Well, hello, 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 everybody, and welcome back once again to Minecraft for the Survival Series. As ever, I'm always excited to come back here to record another episode, and I hope that this one, we have a lot of goals set for this one, and I hope that it comes to be a very interesting and exciting episode in the end. So, let's just get to it, why don't we? Now, let's get in here and put away all this garbage that I apparently didn't put away previously. So we can get to actually looking at what I wanted to do. Let me look over at my notepad here. I have quite a few more goals this time than I have previously prescribed for myself because all these goals end up ended up being a little bit smaller, less significant, and... I don't know, just less, um... Less, like, um, construction of everything and more just building up of things that we've already been doing. So, I suppose we should just get to it. And, in that sense, probably the first thing we're going to end up needing to do is going down into this mine that we have made for ourselves in order to retrieve a grand quantity of cobblestone, because... I have some ambitions for that material today. I do have a little bit hanging around, but not enough in its current state. Hey, it looks like I only have a stack and maybe some more somewhere else. Nope, just a stack. We were going to have to get a bunch more because I have many things I want to do with it. Namely, A, building a pathway down to this, to our mine entrance. B, beginning construction of the wall, or at least building it up a little bit more than we have, just as an outline. And then also, I'm not sure if I'll use it to build the minecart depot that will be down there, but we'll see when we get there, because I'm not quite sure what material I want that to be made of quite yet. Yeah, I think that's all the stuff I have to do for cobblestone. And in that case, I suppose we should just get started. Now, on the subject of that mine, maybe we should do the depot first, so that way we can have a place for our mine carts to go so we can immediately utilize them. I think I will do that probably right now. Using hmm. What could look what could what would look nice? I think potentially using, I'm not sure if I'll have enough stone bricks, but I know I do have some stone lying around, so we should be able to make some more. Yes, we do. I think what I'm going to build it out of is stone bricks and maybe a wood roof. In either case, I want to build it off to the side. Probably, hmm. Thinking maybe right here. I'll have to dig into the um, terrain a little bit, but that's no problem. It's nothing we haven't done before. Familiar concept around here. Guess I'll take this time to ask how everyone's been doing. I hope well. I know I have, since summer has well and truly began, at least for me. It's been a nice relaxing time the past week or so. Just been doing... Not much, really. <laughs> just fairly standard summer activities of just relaxing, not not really paying attention to much. Which has been nice for me to get away, to get a bit of relief from school. Um, yeah, since, since finals week went fairly well, and, um... It, it seems like the summer doesn't have much else to hold for me, besides just whatever I make of it, really. So, I suppose I'll take that, I suppose I'll take the time during the summer to just keep making Minecraft, because it's a fun, relaxing thing that I find enjoyable. And so I will continue. Let's just make an effort to make this look a little bit less jarringly out of place. Which means I will probably have to 
flatten this hill somewhat because this jagged square seam isn't really conducive to nature. So I have to trim this to make it look at least a little bit less jarring. Hmm. Let's see. It still looks a little bit odd, but... Maybe like that? Yeah, that feels better. I don't dislike that. I will have to replace this stone with dirt, but that's no problem. We've got plenty of dirt to fulfill that. Now, how big is this going to be? Probably not super big. It's just going to be a place where the minecarts are going to end up after all. It's not going to be a, a place where I stockpile a bunch of things. It's just going to be a place where I gather the resources from. I could, yeah, I guess I'll make the pa the rail path right now while I'm here. Just to have it in place. I have an idea for how I want it to look. So I will draft that out right about now. I think what I want to do is make a little uh, hole. And then... Okay, I'm going to have to actually build this out to see if it works out the way I want it to. And then if I break that out, there we go. That's what I want. I believe I saw, I don't remember where I saw this, but I know that it works. And I know that I saw it from somewhere. I think actually I'll put in wood floors, because wood floors just look classy. And they're probably more useful, uh-oh, that didn't work. They're probably more useful in a work building than they are in a in the house at least I don't know I just don't think that wool floors are the best idea out in this area so I won't put them here I will absolutely need more stone bricks but that's no problem we'll have those soon enough all right I remember another thing now that I put down in the last episode there are some sign goals that I put in the basement that I said I would remember and one of them was to light up the area. So that way we don't get attacked like this. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right about now. Just to ensure that we don't get ambushed even more than we already have while trying to build down here. The torches aren't the best looking, just dispersed around, but I think function over aesthetic is probably our priority here. You just get this roughly built out. I know sort of how I want this to look, but not fully yet. All right, I can just use the this thing to build more stone bricks. Probably don't need this to be super tall, but I'll see how I, I'll see how it turns out. And then this is just going to be sort of an open um, entrance. I guess I'll make it a little bit taller. Just one more, so... I don't know. I like the look of a 3x3 three three open sort of door area. And it'll give me room to walk around. Hmm. I may just put in a flat roof and then build up a wooden roof on top of it. I'm too short. Luckily, it looks like I have just about enough. There we go. <clears throat> Maybe I could like... Mm, no, I don't like it. Th I don't, I'm not sure if I like it that way. I tried to make it look fancy. It didn't especially work. Put in the torches so the monsters don't take residence in here either. And in its current state, it's not exactly the last word in um, aesthetically pleasing structures. But if I have anything to say about it, whoa. <laughs> Maybe, maybe I'm, maybe I'm also not the last word in aesthetic design, but we'll see. That was just a little bit of an error. Hopefully we will not have that happen too much more. I seem to be very good at that. Misplacing the, um, the stairs. Yes, I will also need some planks to 
fill in this roof. I guess I have to fill it in fully because I'm not going to be using the top part. I guess while we're going in here, looking for more wood, we should go to sleep as well because we're here. Hello, dog. Oh, right. I remember now. I, um... I put in requests to get names for our dog in the last episode, and I got a few from Richard, a longtime commenter and viewer of the channel. Thank you, Richard, for the suggestions. I think I'm trying to recall the ones that um, Richard put forth. And I think the one that I most enjoyed was Doggy Winkle. <laughs> I found it very silly, and I like it. It's nice and endearing. So I suppose that's your name, then, Doggy Winkle. You're just going to be our companion who probably stays at the house most of the time because I don't want you to be running out in the place where all the monsters decide to dwell. So for now, I will just have you staying in the house until I feel prepared enough to let you wander out with me. Now, unfortunately, it does not appear that we actually had any spruce, a lot of spruce on hand. Oh, yes, the sheep enclosure. I remember now. All the things are coming back to me. Of course, there was quite a fiasco last week with all the recording stuff. I'm sure if you watched it that you would have understood the insanity that was going on. Po point is, in short, it was very chaotic last week because I had to scrap a whole episode. And I just like, there was, there was much more progress made than I was initially expecting. But we managed in the end. And I, I came out with an episode, admittedly with a day's delay, but I did still get one out. Because I didn't want to just skip a week. That I felt like that would have been a little bit of a bummer. I just had the desire to put something out, so I did anyway. And I think it was good. I had a fun time recording that episode. This forest gets a little bit smaller every time we come and harvest. I know I should be replanting. And I really don't know why I don't. I guess it's just because I either forget or I get lazy. But I think I will make an effort to replant. If not here, then probably around our house. So I'll just keep a, a sharp eye out for any saplings that drop. Hello, cow. Do you have something to say? At least you're not dwelling in a tree like some of the other cows that we've seen. Apparently, I could build up the stairs. That worked somehow. Mm. Yes, hello. Yeah, there have been a lot of tree-dwelling animals that I've seen in the past few episodes. Not sure why that is, but you know, it's. I guess it's. I guess it's their choice in their life. So, if they want to spend their life amongst the trees, then they can go right ahead. It's not like I have any authority to stop them, really. I mean, I do by way of killing them, but I don't I don't much fancy that, really. So, I'll leave them be. Get the... Probably just this one more tree is all we'll need. It's not a very big building. Yeah, that should be plenty. Oh, yeah, very much. And then, since I got two saplings... Oh, never mind, I got three saplings. I'll just replant where the old ones were. And... We'll call that a reforesting effort. Oh, quite a few more, actually. Some souvenirs to take back to our homestead. So I suppose we will have our own little spruce grotto accompanying our oak trees, of which there are a great deal. Hello. Conveniently timed sapling drop. Not very many, but enough to get something started. And if we stay vigilant and we keep replanting, as we just did, then... We will probably sustain these trees for as long as we play. Which hopefully is a very long time. Let me just get back. I'll probably... I'm going to pay a quick visit to the house to craft some stairs. And... Then I will just get that little depot finished. And then I suppose we'll give it a little trial run. Because... Why not, really? 38 is probably going to be plenty of stairs to finish this. So we'll just go right ahead. Put that up there. Hop up here. 
Do I want this one to have a pointy roof? I think I do. I mean, or we could have it have sort of a stumpy roof. That could also work. You know what? Let me hop down and see how I like the look of that. Obviously, the sides are a bit awkward, but... Yeah, I think if we um, fix the sides, then I might, I might actually prefer this sort of stump roof design. Ooh, assuming I can even finish it by placing the blocks in the correct orientation. I'm not sure why I'm having so much trouble with that. What is going on? It's being difficult. I guess I just have to like build a little platform, like a scaffold. Suppose I have to be realistic in my construction or something. Yeah, so I will have to figure out how to make this look the way I want it to, because currently it doesn't look quite how I want it to look. Maybe I just need to make the roof wrap around fully. Hmm. Let's see. Hmm. Yeah, that corner is going to be a little bit awkward. I'm not sure. I had an idea of how I wanted this to look, and it just looks slightly strange right now, but I suppose it does function. Maybe I just need to overhang on this a little bit, because that's how all the other um, structures have it. Oop, not like that. I'm very good at misplacing stairs. There we go. That feels better. And this will make it look probably less awkward. I'll have to do it on the back as well, of course, but that shouldn't be too much of an issue. Okay. Now I could do the little stair thing there. There we go. That feels better to me. I like the look of that more. It feels less awkward and blocky and more... I don't know, it just, fe it just feels better to me. So I suppose we will roll with it. I, the stairs seem to be my mortal enemy. The stairs, the ominous hallways, and something else. I don't remember what my other mortal enemy is in this series, but I have quite a few. I will also have to light this building up. Good thing I've got the torches to do so. And then I do want to make this path a little bit wider to be consistent with the rest of the paths. Just to make it look, blend more seamlessly into the mine entrance. And I can walk over these rails no problem, so it shouldn't really interrupt the path system that I already had implemented. There we go. I like that. Now we just have to actually construct the path that leads up to here. This will end up being slabs, so we won't need to place any blocks there for now. Um, I guess I could do groups of three, as I did in a couple other places. That seems like it could work. I don't know, we'll see how it works out. I never really do any, like, mathematics or calculations for this. I just build. And if I like the results, then I keep it. If I don't, then I just change it. Such is the beauty of Minecraft. You have that power as... The builder of the world. It seems like it is going to work out fairly well, though. So. Oh, we have the perfect amount of cobblestone to accomplish it. Very nice. Now, of course, we will need the side walls and the slabs, but that should be no big deal. Were it not for the fact that we were completely out of cobblestone, because I just used the stack that we had then it really wouldn't be that big of a deal, but luckily we have created for ourselves a place and a method by which to retrieve very large quantities of cobblestone. Of course, a TNT would help with excavating, but I feel that it's not necess as super necessary in the current moment. Also, I did now just notice that we do actually have spruce trees growing on our, on our plot of land. I'm not sure how I didn't notice before, but 
Good to know that they are there. But a few more can't hurt, can it? Now, unfortunately, once again, my pickaxe is um, imminent to breaking. But I hope we, I think we have more diamonds by which to create another one. I'm sure we got quite a few. Yes, we have just enough. Will that be... That will probably... We're, of course, we're inevitably going to have to get more, but... Just having enough in the current moment is... Making me, making me satisfied enough. I'll grab some coal to make the minecart with furnace work. And then we will keep these in our inventory for when we need them. As we get the resources that we get. I guess I'll just go down in there as night falls and we won't have to worry about the surface mobs. Go all the way down and then just start mining, I suppose. I guess I could just dig out the um, tunnel surrounding the rail because that's just a ton of cobblestone available and I need to do it anyway, so I might as well get on it. Who knows what we'll find as a result, but I'm excited. Maybe we'll uncover a grand... We'll uncover a large, like, group of diamonds. We'll hit We'll hit our figurative gold mine, even though this is our literal gold mine. I will have to replace all the torches that I break down, but that's also not too hard of a task. We're very familiar with mining, torch placing, crafting a lot. No big deal for us. We're getting to be well-experienced miners. I will leave this mine shaft well enough alone for the moment because while it offers resources, it doesn't really focus on the resources that I am prioritizing right now. Most namely just cobblestone. Oh right, I one more thing that I failed to mention in the early in the beginning of the episode. I have actually updated in this episode to version 1.4.7 if you can see that in the very top left there. I don't believe it introduces any significant changes up from 1.4.2, but it was just an update that was available, so I decided to upgrade to it since I was on 1.4.2 for a while. I am excited to see the changes, if any. I'm always excited to see what gets added to this game as it gets updated. Because it just means more things for me to find and more things for me to aspire to do. Especially in this series. But more just in general for the game. Whatever the case, I'm enjoying it thoroughly. As I have been. I do hear the lava that I was so uh, fretful of previously. And I now notice that we are standing over the Grand Lava Lakes that we happen to run into about midway through the... Or no, wait, was it? I think it might have been in the quote-unquote lost recording that I did end up finding these lava lakes. Even still, I'm being especially cautious around them as falling in could spell disaster. And disaster is not something that I would like to spell. The gravel has decided to make itself known, as it typically does. I'll just leave that there, I suppose. Now, we do have quite a bit of cobblestone, but not enough. Not yet. Oh my. Hello. You trapped me in a hole. You are very mean. You cannot maintain the high ground for long enough to get away with the murder that you're trying to do. So, once again, I triumph. Yeah, this is the area where I really have to start exercising quite a bit more caution, because one wrong step, one wrong mine, and one little bit of ignorance could lead to a very, very treacherous and poor <laughs> outcome. Ah, like that, like that. That could have been incredibly bad. I, I caught myself at the very last second. I suppose while I'm here doing this, I could also build out the three block wide path to ensure, A, that I don't fall, but 
be to create consistency in the uh, railway. Because I want the whole thing to have a 3x3 three three platform stably. So I suppose a little bit of cobblestone can be sacrificed to um, make that cause <laughs> apparent. No big deal. We'll just get it back. Now I did notice that my pickaxe just went from being in the red area of its durability to having no durability at all, so it's imminently going to break. Unfortunately, I don't have a lot of... Uh, that wasn't cool. Anyway, as I was saying before I was rudely interrupted, I don't currently have much experience to supplement the enchantment of a new pickaxe, but a diamond pickaxe is still a diamond pickaxe. If it works, it works, I suppose. Yeah, that didn't end up being too resource intensive, at least for this section. It does go further, but... <clears throat> Sorry, excuse me. Didn't expect that to happen. My throat had other plans for me than me talking, I, I guess. Yeah, this is already feeling quite a bit better. And I just totally forgot what my train of thought was in the past few seconds. Maybe I'll be reminded of it in the near future. And there goes our pickaxe. I suppose we could continue mining with an iron pickaxe for now. We still don't have that large of a quantity of cobblestone, but... We are getting to a point where we do probably have enough to do all the things that I plan to do. So I may send the minecarts up in just a second. Of course, I have not demoed that system. I don't know if the minecarts will actually stop there or if they will have other plans and just send themselves right back down here to greet me. I'm sure it will make itself known if that occurs the moment that it happens. It'll probably be recoverable either way, so I'm not super worried about it. Now, let me check how much we have. Four stacks in a bit. I think if we went for five stacks, then we would have just about enough. I mean, whoa. Yeah, I really need to be cautious about... I should really stand back while I'm mining these areas, because... I truly do not know what's beneath me. And... What's beneath me most often is great big pools of fiery lava. And I think it's best if we avoid um, stepping in that. For my own personal safety. Just make sure that all of it that's visible is covered. So that we at least have some safety. I'm sure that the health and safety organization would find many violations in my methods, but they work for me. Um, yeah, we're we're getting we're about five and a half stacks or four and a half stacks. It looks like it doesn't help that a lot of this has turned into dirt, but it is much like the stone that we actually want. It can be excavated to get to the things we actually need. So. It's not a problem, it's just a little bit of an irritation, but one that can be overcome. Yeah, we are creating the grand ominous hallway of our own volition, really. It wasn't even created by the game for us, it was it was of my own doing that this thing was made. We're just about at five stacks, got a little bit more to go. About twelve, I think. So, theoretically, we should be about there. Three more. I'll just mine out this whole ring. I'll get to this next TNT explosive area, and then we will send the minecarts up with our, with our goods. Now, the good thing is we don't just have to send up the cobblestone. We can send everything. I will organize them into separate chests, probably. This first chest will be just our cobblestone. And this next chest will be everything else that we managed to find. Except for our coal, because we will need that. I think that's all the things that we need to send. So now we do the furnace. We give it a lot of coal. And we send it on forward. 
and theoretically that should just push it all the way to the top. I don't know if it will have enough fuel to do so, but I hope it does. If it doesn't, then we can refuel it. Hopefully it will stop at a point where it doesn't just roll right back down the hill. It's going quite fast, actually. I wasn't expecting it to go so swiftly. It's not so fast that we can't catch up to it, but... I'll just feed a little bit more, just to make sure that it doesn't actually just go out. Ow. Well, I suppose that gives me time to focus on other imminent threats, such as mobs that are trying to actively remove us from the world. And then I will just trail the minecarts up. Now, the great thing about this system is that we can just send these up one at a time, given multiple minecarts with furnaces. I just wanted to give it one sort of demo op here. But as we get the system more in place, we can actually use multiple of these to send up multiple loads while we stay down here. And it looks like that does actually end up working. It does push them off a little bit, but that's no big deal. It, it brought all our resources here safely. I do have a... I could just put a block there to make sure that they don't actually fly out. I guess I'll just break that. Break these. Yes, I will just put a block of cobblestone there to make sure that doesn't happen. I suppose I could try that by just putting a bunch of minecarts with nothing in them. And then pushing them in. Whoops, not me. There we go. And then theoretically that should... Yeah, that stops them right about there. And because the last one will be the minecart with the furnace, it should just keep pushing them in and have them safely stop here. Well, that system worked quite wonderfully, actually. So now we can get to building out the remainder of this as we have the resources necessary. As ever, I will do the basic outlining of all the paths and supports and stuff first. And, oh right, it does need to extend one more to be consistent and whatnot. The rain is quite loud. There we go. And then I will shape the terrain around it afterwards, as I have. Oops. That actually does... That works out fairly well. And I believe that that's the last bit of that that I'll have to do, because the rest of it will just be slab work. And on the subject of slab work, let's get to doing that, why don't we? Just build as many as we dare. That's going to be way too many. But no matter. An abundance is always better than a lack. I've said this many times, and I stand by it. Let's just build this in to make it feel a little bit more natural and slopey. And now we get to put all the paths in. Or the uh, little guardrails, or whatever you want to call them. They're not super effective as guardrails, but they do look nice, in my opinion. Just put them everywhere where the blocks aren't. Mm -mm -mm. I will need a little bit of dirt to fill in this hole, but... That was very easy, so... I believe that just about concludes this, at least in the raw construction. Now it's just about building the terrain around it. Just make it look fairly less obvious. Hmm. Alright, I think that's for that side, and then for this side, it all just sort of fits in anyway, so I think that that just about concludes that part, and as a result, that whole goal of the minecart depot, the path building, and now that we've completed those two, we should now be able to move on to our next goal, also involving cobblestone. My inventory is not that well organized right now, but it should not matter as currently we are moving on to something that just requires building 
making the wall a little bit more structured. I'll probably just build up, at least for this small section, I can build up quite a few layers at this point, probably. Even up to the point where we'll actually have effectiveness, which is right about here. Because I don't think, at least not with great difficulty, anything will be able to get in through that. I'll do one more just in case, but I believe that this side is, at the very least, secure. It's not pretty, but it is secure. Now for other sections, like this one, that are longer and more uneven, the task of actually making this effective is going to be a little bit more resource involved, but we are capable. I'll just build this all up to the highest layer that it's going to be at. Uh-oh. Hello. No. The creeper had other plans, I suppose, but I intercepted the sabotage that was about to take place. Right. I could build this all up to the same level, but that would be a very tall endeavor. I'll just build it all up to a fairly consistent level. Until I'm happy with it for now. It will take quite a bit more effort to make this actually secure. Because of this uneven and penetrable terrain. But we will make do with what we can. I suppose we could build it all up to this level because we do have the resources necessary. It seems like I can only build two at a time before I'm not able to reach down. So I guess we'll just do it two levels at a time. I believe building up one more to the level of the highest point will actually make it fairly safe from the outside, except for these parts, but those can be broken. And I believe that that actually, besides that point, which you can get in from, it's not really accessible from the outside deeming that section of the wall at least functional. I should take a sip of my drink, excuse me. Okay. A nice refreshing beverage to ail my apparently tired throat. I'm not sure why it's so tired, but I guess I will soothe it with whatever I can. Now, having this wall network in place will hopefully keep us fairly isolated from any lingering outside threats, except for the ones that decide to just inhabit this place by spawning in here, which will be a little bit more of a task to try and resolve, but torches seem to be fairly effective in that goal, and so more must be placed I'll end up having to make more soon enough. But torches are not a very hard thing to make a lot of. Hmm. I'll just build each of these levels up too. Just to get an idea of how much it's going to take. Um, evidently, by my immediate running out of cobblestone, a lot of resources are going to be required. I did say this was going to be one of the most resource-intense builds. And I do not believe that I was lying when I said that such a thing. I'll just build as much as I can. Of course, with the, uneven, the unevenness of the terrain, it won't be fully secure, especially not if I can't finish it, but... It gives us a rough idea of how this is going to look eventually. Of course, eventually I will want this to fully cover all points, including the highest mountains. So that way no roving monsters can get in, at least not without severe damage from falling up there. Or severe trouble from trying to scale all these outside uh, access points, which are barely access points as they stand. But I think just having parts of it built out is going to help me sort of visualize how that's going to have to look in the end.
I think, in short, it's going to have to be a lot taller. Let's put away all my garbage. And I suppose that brings me pretty seamlessly into the next goal that I stated. Which I actually had trouble remembering last episode. If you remember, I said something um, that I was going to write down on the goals signpost thing last episode. And I failed to remember it when I actually got here. I can actually say that I've done both of these. And since I remember what the goal I had was, I can actually get to it. It was organizing in my chests. Because just throwing all the things in them has not proved to be very conducive to being organized. So I think I'm actually going to utilize these signs to just sort of create a loose organizational system. I will just label it in terms of levels, with one being the top chest in this um, column, four being the bottom, and just saying what each will have in terms of like loose categorization. And I think one will be dirt and stone. Ooh. Looks like I won't be able to do the and, so I'll have to do a slash. Dirt and stone. Um... Ores and gems. Hmm. I suppose... I would write monster stuff, but I don't have... I could write mob stuff. There we go. Mob stuff, just like the rotten flesh and the string and the um, spider eyes and whatnot. Now what could go in chest four? I'm just trying to think of things, ways that we can categorize these. Uh, nether, maybe? I probably won't need a whole double chest for that, but who knows? Maybe I'll find a lot of things. Now, what I actually want to look at all the things I have before I do the second set of categorizations. I will need a wood chest. Farm stuff. Probably food. And what else? I guess just building farm not not five again food ah uh, what was the other thing I said um building stuff I don't have enough room it's not building stew so I'll say building ah uh, what was the last one no, I totally forgot. Ugh, I have to rewrite it in a second. Food. Farmables. Tools and armor. Farm. Food. Tools. And armor. And then... Other stuff. There we go. Oh, it was wood. I remember now. I guess wood can go in that other stuff chest because... Yeah. I think that that should fairly... That should work out fairly well. Well, then I suppose we should just get started then. I guess wood and stone can also house any other raw materials that we find down in the... In the ground. Like gravel and sand. I'm trying to find... I don't actually have a lot of dirt, stone, and stuff. Well, never mind. I found plenty of dirt. Sand. Uh, sandstone isn't really quite in the same category. Here we go. I guess I could put that kind of stone in here because... It does appear in the ground, of course. Okay, so we did actually have quite a bit more than I originally thought, at least in terms of dirt. Look at all that dirt that we have. It's quite a bit. And then I can do gravel. Uh, oh, I have one more stack of dirt. Oops, I missed that entirely. Make that look nice. Do sand and our single piece of stone. <laughs> of course, cobblestone will occupy those bottom two slots. Now, ores and gems. That will encapsulate our redstone. 
our lapis, our emeralds, our diamonds, and any other random things that we've mined out, especially like the unprocessed ores. I'm trying to look out, I'm actually struggling to see anything of that. Well, coal can go in there too. Flint. I don't know what flint. Flint's not really in that same category. The rain is definitely quite loud, but I kind of like it. It's got a nice sound. Uh, there's some more iron. Um, what else? Struggling to see anything, actually. All, all of it's blurring into the same. There's some gold ore. Redstone. I think that's just about it. If there is actually anything else left over, I will inevitably see it as I clean out these chests. I guess I'll put our gems at the top, our redstone beneath it. Still not quite sure. I mean, I, I'm vaguely aware of its purpose. I know it has to do with, like, a, a rudimentary electronic system. There we go. That feels fairly organized to me. Just have the less important stuff fall down in the um, hierarchy of that chest. Next would be mob stuff. Quite a bit of that. We got string, slime balls, bones. I think I'll put the uh, beef and the pork chops and stuff if I have any into food. But spider eyes are definitely not food, so they won't go there. Leather will also go in there. Bones, gunpowder. Feathers, that's for sure. Anything else from this chest? Don't think so. Now in here. Plenty of rotten flesh, plenty of string, tons of bones. Anything else? Um, I don't think so. More rotten flesh, more bones, more string. Bone meal is kind of not in the same. Ink sacks are definitely mob loot, though. Or just stuff they drop. Gunpowder. I think that's it for this one. And then in here, we've got... Nothing of the sort. I see. I think that's just about it, then. Mob stuff, I'll put... The more common things at the top, namely like the string, the rotten flesh, and the bones, of which we have very many, and then the less common stuff will fall further down. Then I will just have to make more room, I guess, or just put them on the right side. Mm. There we go. I think that just about works out. Works it out. Now, what was next? The nether. There wouldn't be very much for this, because I didn't actually spend very much time in there. More on that in a minute, because I do plan to go back there in this episode for a few things. But there are some things that we've gathered in here that I can put in that chest. The nether rack, our nether warts, these blaze rods. Soul sand? I don't think that there's anything else in this chest. Uh, nor in this one. Could have sworn I had more netherrack, but I suppose I didn't. Put the netherrack at the top, because it's going to be super abundant. Nether warts, blaze rods, and soul sand. No particular order, but... There we go. Now the next chest, which is going to be this top one, is going to be farm. I'll have to... I guess I'll just completely empty this. Also, I noticed some ore in here that I just picked up that I didn't see before. And some mob loot that I totally neglected to put in. I don't know how I missed those, but I guess fully clearing out the chest helped me notice them. So I'll just load everything that I just threw away from that chest into this one for now. As I... Whoops, that's not the right key. I was on the control key. Oops. As I gather all the farm stuff, that's going to be carrots and potatoes. Wheat. All the seeds. Cocoa beans, I guess. More seeds. Saplings can also go in there. Not sugar. Saplings can also go in there. And melons. Eggs? Eggs, I suppose, could go in farm. I will have a chicken farm eventually. Apple, that can also go in farm. Any sort of crop, I suppose. Saplings, melon seeds, sugar cane. That's, that's another one. Uh, wheat. There's some more gunpowder that I totally missed. I'll grab that in a second. 
some potatoes. Something is going on out there. I'm not sure if you can hear that. I hope not. Um, let me check. There's some more saplings. One more seed. What else in here? We got melons. I don't think flowers will go into farm because they're not really farmable things. You just find them around. Um, bone meal, not really. I think that's everything. I believe I'll start with all the seeds. I'll do the just normal seeds and then in order of the amount that I have, I have melon and pumpkin, cocoa beans, got some melons, um, some carrots, potatoes, I don't know, sugar cane goes for potatoes, I got some wheat, some saplings, I have a lot of wheat actually, but I'll just keep it over there for now, some apples, and an egg. And I believe that is just about everything. Yeah, it looks like... I guess I could put the saplings in the same category so the egg can go down here. There we go. Now, food. We don't actually have very much for food. Also, I just noticed the ender pearl. I guess I could just clean out stuff that I'm noticing. Mob stuff. And then I'll put the ender pearl over here. We're going to need more of those eventually. I will have to do a hunt for those. Not sure if we'll have time this episode, but we might. Let me just check. What was I grabbing? Oh, yeah, food. Um, there's really not much at all in the way of that because I'm kind of holding it all in my hands. I will have to empty out this chest, of course, because we need it. So that will actually probably be a multi... Um, <laughs> a multi-inventory exchange... Because I have so much stuff in that chest. I think that's all the things that I had. And as far as food goes, I only had um, this raw beef because I don't actually have any real spare food. So I'll just put that in here as a placeholder almost because I know we're going to get more food as, as we keep going. Well, I'm actually out of room in that chest, so I got to use this one. That one's going to be tools and armor. I guess arrows are tools. Uh, buckets a tool, we'll call it that. And water buckets, I suppose, will be in that same category. Um, all the armor that I just grabbed, the flint and steel, the mine carts, the chests, the furnaces, um, the potions, bows, arrows, saddle, I guess, I'm not quite sure. I, I'd, I'd go so far as to call signs a tool. Because, oh, this is going to get really hard to manage because I'm going to have to... And TNT is also a tool. I'm going to have to, like, put these in another chest as I wait for them to get transferred. So I guess all of these tools that I just picked up will have to sit in here for a little while as I figure out where to put all of the other, these other things. Probably in just the bottom chest where they will very likely stay. There may soon to become a problem with that, uh, because this chest is already getting quite full, but it seems like it'll be okay for now. We will eventually have to expand this whole network, of course, to have more chests to accommodate all the various materials we have. But for now, it looks like we have just about enough storage. I believe I grabbed all the tools. This seems to me like all the things that we currently have that I could classify as tools and armor that aren't just in my hand. Um, flint and steel. I'll do water buckets and empty buckets. Uh, mine carts can s they can't stack. Okay, never mind. A boat. Some signs. This is no particular order, by the way. I'm just, like, putting them in here in a way that sort of makes sense to me. You also got a cauldron. I'm not quite sure what to do with that. Potions. Uh, bows, uh, arrows, I think that's just about it really, and then this, this chest is just other stuff which encapsulates random building materials such as stone stairs, I will still make an effort to organize this because 
having all the chests except this one organized seems a little bit um, peculiar to me. Ah, this is going to be a fun one to do. I want all these stairs to be in the first row. So I will make room for them. Uh, we do have quite a bit of stairs. We have accumulated a large collection of such things. The next, I suppose, will be wood. Oops. Forgot I need to place it manually. I also have one more oak stair that I didn't even notice. Um... Then I suppose next could be fences. We don't have very many of those, but just a place for them. Then slabs, of which we actually have quite a lot. Just like random building materials that we've gathered. I guess wool could go in uh, monster stuff. I now just realize. Um, then just other random blocks. We've got um, a bunch of sandstone. Some stone bricks. Obsidian, not quite sure where that would go. I'll take the wool for monster stuff. Flint is kind of uncategorized. A pressure plate, don't know. Uh, the roses are sort of decorative. The dandelion yellow is sort of in the same category. The gray dye, the bone meal, those are all just like things that I could use eventually. I mean, I'll use them for dyeing wool, of course. Pumpkins can also go in farm, I now just notice. An empty glass bottle. Um, an actual piece of glass. Yeah, I'm running out of room for this, but I'll just, I'll try and make it make sense. Sugar and glowstone dust. Rails. And sticks, just like, off here, I guess. And I think I can put a saddle and tools. And then everything else is wool and pumpkins. Pumpkins can go in the farming chest. And the wool can go in mob stuff. And that should be just about it. So there we go. We have utilized all the chests and they are now all fairly well organized. At least well organized enough to the point where I can find all the things I need. Oh, I got books too. Let me put those away just wherever. Here, I guess. Yeah, sorry about that, but I just, that, that chest is very clearly running out of room, so I have to make do with what I can. Hello. Are you, are you, yeah, you're just hanging out. All right, I'll leave you be for now. I did state the last episode that I wanted to somehow befriend a spider, but I don't know if I can or how I would. That actually crosses off quite a few goals that I had. That covers the sort of constructive basis of the wall, the organization of the chests, the minecart depot and the pathway, the lighting up of this area, at least more so than it was. I believe that actually only leaves us with a single goal on my goal list. I wasn't expecting to get through all those as quick as I did, but I guess I guess I'm I guess I'm happy. And this last goal will require us to do something that I haven't done in earnest in quite some time. As I mentioned earlier on in the episode, I will grab some uh, dirt from my dirt chest because I have so much. We are going to go need to adventure into the nether. Before we do so, though, I would like to use the diamonds that we have to make one last diamond pickaxe. We will get more as we progress, but for now, this is the last one we can do. We can enchant it, probably, but not as powerfully as we had previously. Uh, two, we can probably do better than that. Four, that should be good enough. I'm breaking. Well, that'll be helpful considering how often these tools like to break. Seems like someone is either hammering on the roof outside or using a blender. I'm not sure. I'm sorry if that shows up in the recording. I try to suppress all the noise as best as I can, but inevitably some will always get through. I hope it doesn't detriment the quality of the video in any case. So, oh, I got an achievement actually. And hello, 
you do not look to be having a good time. You look like you would be very ready to kill me if I punched you, so I'm going to leave you well enough alone. Now, what I'm going to have to do is... We did it previously in the only, uh, in the only episode where we actually visited, um, which I believe was episode 8? I don't recall. It's been quite a bit. But whatever the case, I know we do need to go back to the castle thing that we found previously. And I vaguely remember how to do so. I know that there's a network of paths I can take to get there. And I believe that the one that has all the torches is the one I want to follow. It will lead me to a... eventually. An opening in the cave network that we found ourselves in here. And it will lead us to a large and gloomy castle from which we can extract a great deal of nether bricks, which was one of the things I wanted to grab. But another thing I wanted to grab, which will also require us to go out into the big open area and explore. Hello. This doesn't look like where I was. I'm going to have to go look for the place where I actually was because this apparently is not it. What I want to grab is not only nether bricks because I like the look of them, but also glowstone. That's the other thing I wanted to grab because I want to replace the lighting in... This does not look like where we were at all. There is a torch here indicating we have at least visited. Where is the place where we were? It wasn't here. Huh. I seem to be fairly lost. I may have to go back down because this doesn't look like the correct place where I was. I want to get glowstone because I want to light up the main house with glowstone. Oh, sorry. Because I like the look of glowstone. And having the top part of the house be lit up with torches feels... I don't know. I just think having a glowstone lighting system in the top part of the house would be a little bit more elegant. Yeah, this is where we already were. I'm not sure what's going on. I'm not sure how I got so lost. I remember... The vague direction I had to go, I just can't seem to find the place where I was. I guess I should have more carefully laid out the torch network so I wouldn't get lost like this. I could swear it was this way. Oh, maybe it's here? Yeah, I remember this square corner. Yes, it's here, okay. So I said to round a corner that I didn't see, okay. Hopefully no more of those scary things that scream come after us. Good news is it's only a short walk from here to the castle. So we should be able to fairly easily just waltz right down there and gather a whole bunch of nether bricks. Now getting glowstone is going to be a little bit harder of a task because glowstone appears to only um, generate way high up on the ceiling of this place, really. So... To get some, we're going to have to do a rather precarious act of probably building a little pathway and a platform under up underneath it. Yeah, this is where we mined nether bricks before. Let me just adjust a little bit. I think I actually want to do the... Excuse me. I think I want to do the glowstone gathering first because that's going to be the more nerve-wracking part. We shouldn't need to visit the inside of this. We've already pretty thoroughly explored it. I hear those things again. Yeah, this... This is going to be dangerous regardless of how... Ugh. We're going to have to be very careful and very vigilant. Because if something comes after us and shoots a roving fireball at us... We are going to have to run as quickly as possible without stumbling... I guess I'm just going to build up a big old platform under this so I minimize the risk of myself falling and hopefully catch all the glowstone dust that drops from these things. Let's get as much as I can from this. I don't know if I'll end up needing more than this. Um, yeah, it doesn't look like anything actually helps me break this faster. I was told that using an axe on our melons and pumpkins in the farm does actually break them a bit faster than just punching them. Uh-oh. 
like that. I saw where that came from, but I don't I don't have a bow to counteract it or arrows. Please just leave me alone. I do not I'm not well equipped enough for you right now. I really should have brought the bow that I just enchanted. But I guess that's a mis I guess that's a mistake that I can learn from. I even learned from it in the first episode where we went to the Nether. I guess it's just been such a long time that I forgot all the etiquette of going here. Bring a bow. Uh, be afraid. Okay, well that's not cool. What am I supposed to do against that? I just need to hope that it stops trying to shoot me. Or that it comes over here so I can punch it. Oh good. I don't even know how you're seeing me from that angle. Okay, well that's not cool. This is this has got quite a bit more difficult than I expected it to. Uh, get out of here. I can deflect them. Uh oh, there's two of them. Oh no. Well, time to leave. Just gotta be quick. Go. That's very not cool. Please do not hit me and knock me into that big lake of lava. I'm still being shot at. This, I could have done this better. Please leave me alone. Ugh, I should have come here better prepared, but... Now I can go back and actually strategize. Now that I'm... Hopefully safe? How did I get up from here? Um. Oh, I see it's over here. Okay. I was like, where where did I come from? Well, I guess I have to go grab that bow that we made. A little bit of a mistake on my part. Should have seen that coming. But who knows? Maybe we got enough glowstone to actually do all the things we need to do. You know, 19 could actually end up being well enough. We'll check. We'll check. If we have to come back here, I will bring the requisite the armaments that I need. Namely, the enchanted bow that I made probably expressly for this purpose, really. Good news is, the portal is just right here. Not as hard to find going back as it is going forward. And now we can just go back to the safety of our own home. Where the rain has greeted us once again. And attempt to demo placing glowstone. I want it to be in that channel up there. It seems the spider has wanted to pay us a visit. Well, I'm not accepting visitors right now. It's too late in the evening. I'll have to break these out. I can't reach it. Ugh. What? Oh my goodness. The skull that I put on my wall terrified me for a second. I was like, what is that? Oh, it looks like we'll actually have plenty. Oh, ow. <laughs> there seem to be a, a great deal of spiders outside, and they... And Endermen. And they seem to not be having a great time. That was actually plenty, really. Now, will it illuminate the whole place if I break out all the torches? That is the question. It looks like it could, but not as well. So I may have to place a little bit more. Yeah, it is lit up in here, but not quite as good. Yes, I will need to go get more, because... It seems like I need to put three full channels of this, as opposed to just... One. It doesn't look quite as... quite lit enough right now. I guess I could... Break out these... And sort of make a glowstone doorway if I wanted to. And that would help with the illumination. Yeah, I think I think that would actually be pretty nice. 
So I suppose I will go gather some more. Can I sleep? No, of course, because there's spiders who are finding my my homestead very interesting. Please. Ah, wow. <laughs> you were so vigilant that you died. I guess you had a cause and you died for it. Okay. Now we can go back into the nether. Hopefully with... Oh, well, I can use... I can demo this. Uh, enchanted bow. If I could even hit my shots. There we go. Luckily, I can retrieve these arrows. I don't think I can retrieve the ones that land, though. I think if I actually hit my shots, they will be used. Another current developing issue is that I am running out of food, but we have the potatoes to supplement that. It shouldn't be too much of a worry. Let's just head right back out into the, um, the fray. Get to getting more glowstone. We need, it looks like about, I think 10 more at least. Um... If not, like, a whole stack, ideally. But I'm not sure how much mining we'd have to do to actually get that goal. Now, this time, I am equipped to fight those screaming things. No matter how much they scream, I will have a, com I will have a combating method. So, it should be a little bit better this time. Because I will actually have a means by which to defend myself. As opposed to running and screaming myself. Oh, well, that's conveniently timed. There you go. Nope. Okay, that should have hit. That could have been amazing if I hit it with his own fireball. Oh, I just, like, shot it. I can barely see you. I, why am I even shooting at you? Okay, that should have hit. There we go. That's much better. Now I can actually, you know, fight. And then they go away. Which is great, because that means I don't have to be as afraid of them anymore. Did any of the stuff... Yes, it did. There was a little bit that fell. Not a terrific amount, but an amount nonetheless. Any glowstone that I can gather is... Glowstone. Glowstone nonetheless. We got three more. That whole crop out there, up there, is not quite finished giving me all of it's got yet. So I will go up there, get the rest. And if there's one more that's conveniently placed right above this uh, castle, I will try and get all of it. If not, then we will have to, whoa. Oh, you too? I have a, my bow can fight multiple things. There we go. You just gonna, you just gonna watch it? <laughs> I don't even think that one's facing me. Now, if we fall, the protocol is, um, I guess, be calm and hope we don't die. I don't think we will because there is solid ground beneath us and we have a lot of armor. And that is, of, of course, code for I hope we don't die because I really don't know. Get all the glowstone dust that's on here. Of course, some more fell down, but we'll just use what we can for now. It gives us 16 more. Not quite enough. I do see one over there. It looks treacherous. Very, very treacherous. Give me just one second. I'll break down into here. Build myself a little wall so I don't get attacked. All right, give me just one second. All right, I am back. I've returned. I uh, my oven beeped because it was preheated because I'm currently making dinner. But I assure you that now I'm back. Everything should be good for the rest of the recording session. Just a little bit of a hiccup. Nothing too severe though. Now getting up there. Oh boy, this is going to be a little bit more difficult. Especially if those things have anything to say about it. Oh. Well, actually, there's... 
This could be bad. This could be really bad if, if I mess this up. I just gotta be really, really cautious about this. This is actually fairly supported by the terrain, but that doesn't help me being afraid of it. I will just have to pillar up here, it looks like. Uh, so basically any fall from here is going to be a, a fairly bad one. Because I am up on a platform with no real way down. Is this one better? Oh, this one is much better. This one is actually really low to the ground. <laughs> So I can get this one easily, and it's fairly protected on all sides. Oh my. Something has alerted the dogs. I'm not quite sure what's going on out there. My apologies about that. Well. <laughs> I suppose it wouldn't be a recording session without something interrupting it. Well, there you go. As ever, I apologize. I don't mean for these things to interrupt the recording sessions, but there's nothing I can really do to control them. Ideally, I would have recorded a bit earlier in the day, but I, I, you know, this is the time I'm recording, and so that's how it will be. Luckily, it looks like this will most definitely be enough. Yes. Should be 32. Break that into that much. And that gives us 42 glowstone. Most definitely enough. I believe it was over here that we came in from. I'm going to have to be very observant with this. Because one wrong move and everything could go wrong here. <laughs> as cautiously as I can. Yep, that's what I thought was going to happen. That was not a great noise. You did not sound happy about that, but I don't care. Because you have perished. Okay. Well, that's the nerve-wracking bit done. I mean, this part is no less nerve-wracking, really, but... At least I have ground beneath me that is within a reasonable distance. I guess I'll get some nether brick while I'm here, because I can. Not too much, just a little bit. Because really what I came here for is glowstone. And also this is so dark that it's kinda hard it's kinda hard for even me to see it. Because of the glare on my screen. But oh oh this is hollow, is it? Oh, with a with a deadly flaming trap beneath me if I make a slip. Okay. Well, we better just be a little bit careful then. I'll get a stack, and that should probably be enough for all of my nether brick purposes. And we're at 51, so just a couple more. And then we will quickly scurry back home, get our lighting situation done, and then I really think that we could just about say that we're done. Because I did get all the things I said I wanted to get done, finished in a relatively timely manner. Pick these up. I swore there were more, but I guess... They had other plans. That brings our total up to 44 pieces of glowstone. Which will be more than enough and will give us a little bit of excess. So that we can use glowstone later for whatever purposes it may serve. Probably lighting up things. Lighting things up, excuse me. Good thing we didn't use all of our dirt because I wasn't sure if the amount that I brought was going to be enough. It turns out that it was, but... Really, just barely. Make our way up here now that I actually know where it is. Yeah, now that I've come back to the nether, I've... All of it's sort of coming back to me. I remember all this vaguely. Build up here. Or just walk up, really. Make our way back to our humble abode. Hope that it's had no invaders since we last saw it. And then... Ow, 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 ow. I'm on fire. That was a little bit foolish. Eat a piece of cooked fish, you'll be alright. There we go. Hopefully no invaders have struck upon our humble abode, so we may accomplish this last task in relative peace. 
Oh, hello. How did you get out? <laughs> I don't remember asking you to stand and come over to me, but I suppose you just wanted to say hi to me. Well, hello to you, Doggy Winkle. Coming here to join us in the... There we go. I'll finish this doorway. Oh, those stay there? Well, that's awfully convenient. Never mind. They don't stay there. <laughs> Luckily, I will be able to put them back. There we go. I like that. It really gives it a more, like, ethereal feel. There we go. Now we will actually be able to supplement this area with the glowstone I said I would put in. It will look a little bit more out of place, but it does still function. And I think it looks nice. And it will ensure that this place is very, very well lit. Oops. Not like that. And it didn't give me... It, it didn't give me quite the amount I needed back, but it's okay. What did I just see? I thought I just saw something like run across the screen. Oh, it's my dog. What are you doing? I thought I told you to come inside. I guess I didn't tell you to sit. Come here. There you go. Now I can put away all these other things, including the dirt, which I did not use all of. I'll make that look a little bit better for you. Um, we also got nether bricks, which we can put in the nether chest, giving it more purpose. And then wood, I suppose, can go in the area where the wood goes. String goes in mob stuff. Arrows and the bow will go in the tools and armor. And I think that just about concludes it. It's very, very well lit in here. I, I quite enjoy it, really. I like the look of all the glowstone in here. And it really gives a beaming finish to the accomplishments that we made in this episode. Of which there are quite a few. We finished our minecart depot. We dug out quite a significant portion of the mine and built its pathway. We recovered a bunch of glowstone to make our house very well illuminated. We built ourselves a new pickaxe. We started construction, or rather, continued construction of the wall to make it have some se some semblance of function at this point. And really, I think that's about it. Even still, that's quite a formidable set of goals, and I'm happy that have to have completed all of them. I think that that makes a satisfying conclusion to this episode, in my opinion. All right. Well, I'd like to thank everybody very, very much for watching and continuing to support the series. I always love to see the constructive and supportive comments in the videos. It always makes me happy, and I appreciate them greatly. Hope you enjoyed this episode as well. If you did, maybe consider giving it a like or even hitting the subscribe button on my channel if you'd like to catch the future episodes of this series and any other things I may happen to upload in between. Well, thank you very much, as always. And goodbye.